question number 21 the path of three particles with identical magnitude of charge identical magnitude of charge which means what the magnitude is same but he doesn't say it's positive charge or negative charge okay so definitely there are positive and negative charges because if something goes upwards something is coming downwards it will happen only if there are two types of charges okay but different masses masses are different which means what you can have a plus minus q m1 here plus q m2 here okay it can be something like this one more Maybe since there are two values over here, I can put plus Q or minus Q, plus or minus Q, M3 over here. You can have something like this. All of them have the same initial velocity. Everything has the same initial velocity. Magnetic field is directed into the plane of the paper. Now, what is the mass of the particle X compared to the other particles? Now, what is the sign of the charge? Okay. Now, first what we will do is let us look at the way how it gets bent over here. Why does it get bent? Because BQV driving force is equal to mv square by r. It describes a circular path like this, right? Magnetic field. So, therefore, this v and this square goes away. And what do we need? Let us find the radius. See what is differing here. This is your radius. This is your radius. This is your radius of the circle. So, this is the radius of the circle, right? So, this radius is larger. Now, let us write an expression for radius. r is equal to mv divided by bq here. b is not changing. q is also same. Then v is also same. What is that? Now, it depends on m here right so r is proportional to m here which means what that means larger the mass larger the radius which one has a larger mass so particle x for example is asking so radius is much larger so mass should also be larger okay so therefore these two are incorrect now you need to look for the sign of charge now now let us use our left hand uh, thumb rule so left hand rule what do we do here fleming's left hand rule so use bq fbi rule okay F is your thumb, B is your index finger and uh, I is the middle finger. So, towards it. Now, F, B, I, B is what? First, align the B, B with your index finger. Now, B is inwards to me and then force. Okay, what is the force over here? See, I rotate my finger. The particle is being bent like this over here. Okay, or maybe first let us look at the I over here. I is like this over here. I is like this over here. That is the charged particle motion just like this. Okay, I can replace I with V over here. The current with velocity. So, it is like this over here. The force should be like this. If this was a positive particle, it would have been gone upwards. Since it is not a positive particle, it is coming downwards, which means what? The particle X should be a negative particle, right? This is the way how you need to look into it. So, therefore, it is negative, larger, negative. Answer should be B over here. 